hello grade 7 students how all of you are doing i believe that all of you are doing great so welcome back to our another class for subject science and today we are going to learn about explaining changes of state uh, lesson 5.4 okay so last week we learned about change of state like how liquid can become gas okay but today we will learn about how it actually happens okay so <clears throat> first i will read and then i will explain okay <clears throat> so page number 75 <clears throat> heating solids when solids are heated they expand the particles in solids are arranged in a fixed pattern the particles are held together strongly and are tightly packed. The particles in the solid vibrate. The heat energy is transferred to the particle. The more energy the particle have, the more they vibrate. As the particle vibrate more, they take up more space. The particles are still held in position by the attractive forces between them. What does that mean attractive forces? attractive forces mean like okay so i hold this book okay and someone try to pull it take it away from me but i'm holding it back so i am the attractive force okay because i don't want uh, someone to uh, take this book okay i don't want to let this book go away so i'm holding this book and someone is trying to take this book pushing it to that side but i'm holding it so i am attractive force okay <clears throat> so next um, melting solids when solids are heated even more strongly they melt melting means they become liquid okay they become liquid the particles in the solid vibrate more and more as heat energy is transferred to them so the particles vibrate so much that the attractive forces between them are no longer strong enough to hold them in a fixed pattern they are able to slide past one another okay so now okay i'm holding this book i'm the attractive force okay but if someone is stronger than me to, to take this book away from me okay like like this okay so now i'm pulling on this side okay so like this okay so this hand is my attractive force and this hand okay suppose this hand is a heat energy okay so it's pulling it okay so when i don't have enough energy to hold it here so i will let it go okay so that means no more attractive forces the forces are still strong enough for the particles to stay in touch with one another the more the liquid is heated the more energy is transferred to the particles and the more the particle move okay <clears throat> next boiling liquids so let me explain this one first heating solids and melted solids okay so when we heat solids okay so these are the particles of a solid it's in a fixed pattern you can see it's in a fixed pattern okay so it's not heated yet okay so when we heat okay the particle expands means become large and they start to vibrate okay they start to vibrate but they still have attractive forces between each other okay so that means they are held together they are still in a fixed pattern but they expand expand means they become larger but when we uh, keep heating the solid particles like solid so then there are no more uh, attractive forces though so they start to uh, break down okay they start to expand and they become liquid okay but they uh, start to slide past each other i mean this one can go this they start to move freely okay they can go this and this can go in solid particles cannot move because they are held together but in liquid particles can go pass around like like this one and this one but this one can go here okay so when a solid is heated up until melting point so then these particles can slide can go past 
the other particles and this one can go here so that means they can move around freely so that's why they become liquid okay <clears throat> But they don't go, they, they still uh, stay together, but they can slide past uh, 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 each other. Means they can go, this one can go here and here, and that's why they can move freely, but they still held together, okay? So next, boiling liquids. So as you know, uh, li in liquid, particles can move freely. They can go past each other, okay? But what happens when we boil uh, the liquid like imagine water okay so when liquids are heated they evaporate and eventually boil okay evaporate means you can when you boil the water you can see you can see the uh, steam so that means it starts to evaporate they so that steam we can call evaporation okay so in liquids, the particles touch each other. The particles are held together weakly. So as I mentioned in earlier, they can go past each other. So because they are held together weakly. The particles move more as heat energy is transferred to them. Some particles have enough energy to break the weak attractive forces holding them together. These particles can escape into the air as gas particles. Okay, so let's, let's again. Have a look at here. So suppose this is a particle of a liquid, okay? So it's held together by attractive force. So this hand my attractive force. So as we heat up it, so this can break the attractive force and can go up in the air. So that's when we see uh, vapor. Steam means, okay? Because the particles uh, can break the weak attractive forces and then they can move freely in the air and they become gas okay so have a look at here <coughs> boiling liquid so here are particles of a uh, liquid okay so but when we heat up these particles can no longer stay here because they don't have any uh, attractive forces to uh, keep them here so that's why they start to move freely and they start to go in the air okay so next uh, page number 76 okay <coughs> cooling gases the particles in a gas are free to move anywhere and spread out so uh, last week we learned about particles in a, in a gas can move freely they have no attractive forces and they are very far away from each other so there are no forces holding them. So as I mentioned, no forces holding them. When a gas gets cooler, it condenses to form a liquid. What does condenses mean? I will explain, okay? When gas particles reach a cold surface, some of the heat energy transfers from the particles to the surface. The particles move less and get closer together, they form a liquid. Okay, so what happens? to the gas when it uh, touches the cold surface so let's have a look so particles of gas can move freely so here are the particles but when it touches the cold surface you know they cannot move they cannot move much they still can move but they can move slowly so they come together they start to have attractive forces okay so they come together and then they form liquid okay may it condense condenses mean uh, like a change of a gas to a liquid okay so when the gas changes to liquid it condenses so that's what condense mean okay so again i will explain when the gas particles they move freely okay so one best example uh, you can do it at home boil the water okay just uh, uh, heat up the water okay so you will see uh, when it starts to evaporate okay so you can see the steam just place something on top like like uh, so here is water boiling so place something on top so you will see you can see the water on the on that surface okay so that means uh, when the uh, gas particles uh, touch the cold surface they become liquid again okay now freezing liquid when a liquid 
When a liquid freezes, it becomes a solid. The particles in a liquid move and slide past each other. As heat energy is transferred from the particles to the environment, the particles move more slowly and the liquid gets cooler. The cooler the liquid is, the less particles are able to move or slide past each other. Eventually, the particles have so little energy, they can only vibrate. They become arranged in a fixed pattern. So when you uh, free, when, when you freeze uh, a, so a liquid particle, like when you freeze liquid particles, they have no more space to move because they freeze. So they, uh, so they move, start to move slowly and they can only vibrate, you know, because their process of moving uh, slow down. So they can only vibrate. So that's when they become freeze okay that's so like uh, from uh, uh, water we can make uh, ice okay so now time for your task one so your task one is answer the questions on page number 75 so you can see at the bottom here you have questions page number 75 so describe the arrangement of particles in a solid so you need to describe the arrangement of a particles in a solid. So read this one first part <coughs> one. You can see the particles in solids are in a fixed pattern. Okay. What happens to the particle in a solid when they are heated? So read this. Okay. And watch this video very, very carefully. You will know what happens uh, to the particles in a cell in a solid when they are heated. What do the particles of a liquid behave when they are heated? So, how, uh, how do the particles behave in a liquid when uh, it, they are heated? Okay. What happens to, to the particles when a liquid boils? Remember, heating and boiling is different, totally different. Heating means uh, you just heat okay but means uh, less than boiling point it's not yet boiling okay boiling is when the, the things start to you can uh, start you will start to see the bubbles on top of a liquid that means it's boiling okay so what happens to the particle when a liquid boils okay so that's it in the first video so if you will have any questions any doubts you can ask me okay so first i want you to watch this video do not write down anything do not do anything close your books okay just watch this video and then uh, so i will give you next instructions after this okay so that's it so ask me any questions if you have any questions any doubts okay so uh, i will see you in the next video Hello students, welcome back to our second video for today and today we are learning about explaining changes of state. So we are learning about heating solids, how does a particles, uh, uh, how do particles react when we heat the solid and how do particles react when we uh, melt the solid and how do particles react when we boil liquid and how do particles react when they touch the cold surface okay so now i will give you task two so your task two will be on page number 76 answer the question questions on page 76 okay so you can see questions here what does condense mean okay so i explained you earlier what does condense mean okay and what happens to the particles in a gas when they touch a cold surface okay so give me uh, an explanation okay at least 20 to 30 words okay you can uh, give me more okay but do not give me one word answer okay i don't want to see a one word answer give me 20 30 or 50 words okay at least 30 words okay what happens to the particles in a gas when they touch a cold surface and one more question it's not in the book i will give you what happened to what happen what happens to the particles uh, in a liquid when they freeze okay 
so what happened to uh, what happens to the particle in a liquid when they freeze okay so give uh, also give me answer for that okay again 30 to 50 words okay and these are modeling so we are not in the class at the moment if you we were in the class we would do it in the class okay so just only these three questions okay so give me answer for these three questions okay so that's your task too if you will have any doubts any questions uh, you can ask me okay so I can write down here okay 30 to 50 words okay I don't want to see one word answer okay so give me 30 to 50 words okay so if you don't give me 30 to 50 words you will not get full marks okay so that's it in the second video i will see you in the last and third video for today hello students welcome back to our third and last video for today and today we learned about explaining changes of state so heating solids so i will explain one more time before i give you homework <coughs> so particles in solids are in a fixed position okay they are held together in a fixed position but when we heat a uh, solid so the particles are still held together but they expand expand when they become larger and they start to vibrate so what happens when we melt a solid? So when we melt a solid, uh, the particles in the solid can move freely. They can go past each other. But when it's not he uh, heated, they cannot go past each other. They are held together, they are fixed. But when we uh, <coughs> bring the solid to a melting point, the particles, they start to move freely. They can go past each other. So that's why they become liquid boiling liquid what happens to the particles in a liquid when we boil a liquid so the attractive forces in a liquid uh, are weak you know so when we boil when the heat energy is transferred to liquid so the particles some particles can no longer held together so they start to move uh, into the air okay so that's why we can see steam like they become gas what about cooling gases so when the gas gas particles have no attractive forces okay they can move freely they can move anywhere so but when they touch the cold surface they can no longer they can no longer move faster they can move very slowly and they come close to each other and they start to have a little bit of attractive forces so they become liquid so now your homework your homework is on workbook page number 51 okay <coughs> page number 51 workbook okay so you have three questions okay so and you have some uh, helping words okay use the following words in your answers use each word at least once you will need to use some of the words more than once okay uh, use particle theory to explain what happens when a solid is heated and it changes into a liquid so explain what happens to a solid when it is heated it changes to a liquid how it happens okay use particle theory to explain what happens when a gas reaches a cold surface and it changes into a liquid so what happens to the gas when it uh, reaches the cold surface and uh, changes into a liquid what happens to the particles use particle theory to explain what happens when a liquid is heated and it changes into a gear so what happens to the particle when a liquid is to heat it and it changes into a gas okay so i want you to do one thing okay so you stay at home just uh, you know uh, put uh, like uh, take some water in the pan and put it on the gas so watch it okay watch it how it starts to boil and you can see the steam man means it changing stage so you can write down that answer here okay so that's it 
if you will have any questions any doubts regarding your homework you can ask me okay and uh, do not forget to do your homework if you don't do your homework you will not get any points okay so that's it for today i will see you next week take care be safe bye bye and thanks for participating